Howdy, Cowboy Gamer here, and you're listening to the 10th episode of the Portable Gaming Podcast. And I just have to first say that, wow, I cannot believe I made it all the way to episode 10. I mean, when I started this, I, I mean, I wanted to keep going. I listened to a ton of different podcasts, and all of them are up in the the 200s, the 100s, the 300s, 400s. Uh, so they've been going a long time, and I, it kind of just... I didn't really realize how long that really is, because uh, usually if you do one podcast per week, it's only about 50 a year. Uh, so the fact that I am on 10 uh, is really... I think it's been two and a half months of doing this, so, I mean, don't get me wrong, I thought I'd have uh, a co-host, I thought I'd be having a lot more views by now, but I'm I'm still happy with uh, how things are going out. I've definitely uh, fine-tuned things a lot more, uh, Don't I'm not including as much information at some points, and uh, expanding, expounding upon other uh, bits of information, I've definitely... Uh, I definitely thought I'd have more videos, and my uh, podcast would be more video uh, form, so there'd be a lot more to see. But uh, without doing a like webcam of myself, I'm just I'm not really big on that at the moment. And uh, most podcasts people just listen to, so uh, YouTube's still not the best place for me. I understand that, but it is uh, the most accessible and free at the moment. So I'm pretty down with that. Uh, so uh, again. Uh, like I said last time, I, I'm working on some uh, some cool ideas coming up in the next uh, months, couple of months. Uh, should have a prize podcast or something coming out. Uh, I just am working on getting some stuff that would be uh, cool. And uh, to be honest, uh, I've got a few listeners and one bigger fan, but i uh, actually like to know... Uh, what type of prizes you guys would be interested in. Um, and don't get me wrong, I'm probably not going to get anywhere near, but I'd love to know if uh, some of my listeners are more uh, 3DS-focused, more Vita-focused, uh, Nintendo, I mean, whatever. It, I mean, even PSP, I mean, I get my hands on a lot of different things, and uh, hopefully for the prize uh, episode or even just as a question and answer at the end of an episode maybe i'll give out like a couple of questions and whoever does the best uh will get um a prize or something so we'll figure it out uh but uh let's uh let's jump into uh this week's episode uh i'm still changing up some stuff uh I've got windows 10 i'm trying out a new way of record well a way i've recorded before but not something I thought I'd be doing again without multiple peoples, but um, what am I playing uh, this week, and what have I spent my entire time on? I'm, like most weeks, uh, in these last few weeks, I'm kind of doing still the same things. Uh, some of you may find that boring, um, but I have made some changes. Um, for instance, uh, on smart devices, I have been playing Star Wars Commander. As of two days ago... I deleted the game off of my Android. Um, I was on Chapter 7, and I had uh, I looked into some of the new things that uh, they had added on the new update, found out there were three more chapters to the game, and to be honest, the game has slowed down so tremendously, and they have just, they're forcing you to spend the money to keep playing the game. I... I wasn't going to sit through another three chapters of that. Uh, I mean, we'd be here all year for me to finish that game currently, and that's not even to say that there wasn't won't be another update to extend it. I also have just not been having any fun. I mean, it was a simple game. All you had to do was click on the app. It loads up as long as you have internet. Um, about 30 seconds, you click on all your resource buildings and get your resource, then shut it off. Uh, do the same thing about eight hours later, and then once you get enough resources, upgrade your weapon buildings and everything, and then play some a level or so. Uh, but the fact that I was literally just sitting there waiting for a week or so just to have enough resources to upgrade one building was getting pretty annoying. So, and I'm not not spending money on uh, this game. It's just not fun enough, and uh, 
I'd estimate almost probably forty dollars for me to beat this game by paying, and just no, not a game I'm going to do. Uh, again, Pokemon Shuffle, uh, Cowgirl Gamer and I have been putting a lot of time. This is kind of our our one game in common that we still play um, and we talk about on occasion. Uh, she she also plays like Tomodachi Life, Animal Crossing, stuff like that. Uh, but this is one that we still we have both our 3ds's and um, we we talk about like, hey, did you get your update? Uh, do you see what they're doing? So uh, I'm still gonna keep playing it just because it's something that yeah, it's video game related that uh, she and I talk about, but it's still something to talk about together, and I'm I enjoy that. I enjoy having something that we both share in common. Uh, but I'm. I, uh, I'm over the, like, 115 hours area in Pokemon Shuffle. Um, they started doing, uh, some competition, a competition again. There is a, um, the update last week actually added a Safari Zone, which had, um, uh, five or six new Pokemon that you capture. The strongest one of those, um, is a, if I remember right, a rock Pokemon. I'm not gonna worry about the name, because Pokemon names, after so many... I'm going to get a bunch of them wrong, no matter what. But, um, the Safari is still not done yet, but the strongest Pokemon now has a Mega Stone upgrade uh, competition going on. And unlike uh, most of the competitions I've seen, uh, this is, they gave us 10 days to practice for it instead of the usual 7. Uh, so I kind of like that, uh, but I'm just, I'm working on all those Pokemon uh, trying to level them up to 10. A uh, couple of weird things with it. Uh, I've been playing, and I, I kind of understand the experience system, but no matter what I do to try and change it, one of my Pokemon always takes longer to level up. Uh, all the rest are leveling up a lot faster, and I understand that I'm probably using those more, uh, or their abilities are better, so I use them more, but no matter what I do to try and get the other one and try and like force myself to choose that Pokemon and try and use his abilities and get him to get more experience. It just doesn't seem like it's a lot. So, uh, and he wasn't, uh, super low to begin with. He's, uh, he was about the same level as most of the rest when I started working on, uh, prepping for this competition and he just hasn't changed that much. So I don't, I don't know. It might, he might have a, a larger um, experience pool to gain per level than the others, since they're more, they were a lot longer ago, and this is a, a newer Pokemon that they've added on an update. But I have no idea. Uh, not, I don't know enough about the game to uh, know that exact information. But uh, my uh, four-man team, I have chosen. Um, usually at the beginning of all competitions, I sit down and I pick the four Pokemon I want to have in the the lineup that will compete for that competition, and that's all I do is I just focus on those four, leveling them up as high as I can. Well, one of my Pokemon finally hit max, and I'm not going to just keep doing the same competition to get experience and uh, and just have one Pokemon that's not getting experience. So I found some other Pokemon that might be good in other groups, and I'm going to uh, work on them. I won't use them for the final... Uh, the final competition and everything, but I'd rather be gaining experience on more Pokemon so that hopefully instead of just having four Pokemon at max level, I have a fifth that might be useful in another grouping uh, later on down the road. Or uh, every once in a while, they uh, there are Pokemon that are like, hey, if you make a team of just fire, one of the Pokemon increases all fire damage. Uh, and so I'm hoping there'll be more Pokemon like that so that I can have uh, groupings of just the same type of Pokemon, and I can do more damage that way. Uh, because there is an optimize button in this game, but it's not always the right way to uh, to win out the level or to do the most damage. So uh, that's something I'm learning, that there are fine-tuned uh, methods that uh, people that really know the game or play it a lot have learned. And then my final game, as everyone's guessed it, Final Fantasy X uh, HD. I am... I'm putting in about 8 to 10 hours a week on this game, which I know isn't a lot considering how many hours are uh, in a week, but 
I'm still just focusing on uh, lots of different things. I, I kind of want 100% uh, this game. Uh, and so I'm still setting up goals uh, for what things I want to do. Uh, I will admit I uh, was a little dumb uh, for the last while. I didn't know something about the game, but I did just learn it this morning. Uh, and that is uh, one of the things I'm working on is capturing 10 of every single creature in or every enemy in the Capture Arena Challenge. And I found out that there are actually pages... Um, there are, like, you go to the uh, land area at the arena, and you're like, this place, and it shows you all this list of guys and how many you have of each. Well, most of them don't have a full page, but a few do. And I found out that if you just hit over, that it shows you a second page to that area, and there are still more guys to capture. Uh, so, when I thought last night that I had captured 10 of every single creature, I was actually wrong, and there are still uh, four creatures left in the entire game that I haven't caught 10 of. So, right now, that's kind of my main goal for the rest of this week, is do whatever I can to capture those last 10. Um, the other goals I'm working on right now is creating... I've already got all the celestial weapons all upgraded and most people say those are the best uh, weapons in the game there are ways of uh, making other really good types of weapons uh, depending on that but uh, these are pretty much the weapons I'll play the rest of the game I don't think I'm gonna work on creating any new ones right now I'm just focusing on the creating the best armor composition um, so right now I'm playing through the game and I'm uh, there are armors that, uh, an armor has a max of four empty slots, or four slots that you can have abilities. And I'm trying to find uh, an armor that has four empty slots, which is one of the harder ones to find. I've got uh, multiples for some people and none for others, but I'm just working on that because what I want to do is give... Uh, Every person in my party, all seven of them, I want to have the best armor in the game, which uh, right now, uh, to my best knowledge, consists of break HP limit, uh, because the HP limit usually you can have on guys is 9,999, and if you break the HP limit, it jumps it up to 99,999. Uh, so that extensively adds uh, HP to all their pools, which is useful. Uh, only a couple of the guys do I have maxed out on the 9,999 HP. Uh, so, and I've only got one armor that currently has break HP limit, and it's not even going to be my best armor. Uh, it is a four slot, but it came with a worthless uh, extra upgrade, so I really don't want to add anything more to it because uh, I'd like to get some find some other ones and give them the best abilities. Uh, the other stuff is auto haste. Uh, that way, it, as soon as you start the level, it auto casts on it. There's no animation or anything. It just you come with haste on you, which makes you faster, which means more attacks, more damage, uh, and usually you can beat the uh, the enemy uh, creature. Auto life, which is cast on yourself so that if you die right away, you come right back to life. Uh, so that's super useful. I'm not positive um, if it casts auto life and then you die, if it recasts auto life so you kind of can't die, or if it just does it at the beginning of every level. So that's something I should look into. Uh, and the final thing is Ribbon. Uh, ribbon is one of the best upgrades in the entire, or customized ability for the entire game that you can put on any piece of armor, and that is you are immune to all status uh, debuffs. Uh, you don't get turned to stone, you, so you don't get petrified, you don't get berserked, confused, poisoned, anything. Um, and now that sounds really amazing, and it is one of the hardest upgrades to get on any weapon in the entire game. Uh, and I thought I was going to be able to get it a lot easier than uh, I thought, mostly because last night I thought I'd have 10 of everything. I'd be able to fight the creature. That gives me um, items, which if I get enough of that item, then I can make a ribbon. Uh, however, after uh, a lot of research and everything, I'm still going to have to capture some stuff, and I have yet to win one fight against the uh, more unusual arena creation monsters. Um, 
So, yeah. Well, I guess bri I've bribed one, but I don't really consider bribing winning. I don't get experience, I just get the items the creature gives me. So, not super amazing, but uh, something fine. Also, I'm just I'm running out of money real fast with bribing, so I need to, uh, to work on just getting some more uh, money right now. But that's what I'm trying to create. I'm also working on trying to complete the sphere grid for every single guy. So that means a lot of level 4 key spheres, a lot of level 3 key spheres, and a lot of uh, fortune spheres for all the luck. Uh, once I unlock all of the level spheres and make it open path, and then once I complete the grid for everyone, I can get all their abilities, then I'm going to go back and I'm going to try and fill in the grid. Uh, people talk about um, there's a lot of empty slots on the grid and you can fill those up with uh, with more HP and stuff like that, uh, more attributes, or you can get rid of uh, other uh, sphere parts that have give you like one to the attribute instead of usually you get like four of, uh, of agility or four of strength, stuff like that. But some of them are like ones and twos. So people say go through all those, delete out the ones and twos, and add uh, fours to all that to do even better. So that's one thing I'm going to be working on eventually. It's not going to be for probably another month or so, but at the speed I'm going. But it is something I want to I want to complete. I want to finish because I still want to 100. percent So I want to get all the trophies as well. Uh, got a couple trophies. I. Uh, I, la I used uh, Kamari's Lancet and got his last uh, Ronso Rage Overdrive, uh, so that made me happy. Um, beat Omega Weapon, um, one of the harder uh, creatures in the game, so that made me happy, especially after uh, uh, you guys met uh, Immortal Lemming uh, a few podcasts ago, but uh, a long time ago, him and I uh, we were hanging out and... Uh, he went up against fighting Omega Weapon, thought it was going to be an easier fight, and then realized the HD version, he's a lot stronger. Uh, and so it really felt nice to beat that down. So that that made me happy. Um, I have gotten Titus, finally, all of his overdrives I've gotten. So I've used uh, his overdrive enough times to get to the final overdrive. So that's great. I've gotten that. It is a really hard overdrive to get because it's a timing window and you got to get really good at timing to get it. So I've used it once and I failed miserably. So, oh well. Uh, also, uh, Orin, uh, has I still have to get all the, the rest of the Jack spheres. I think I only have two left to get. Um, and they are blocked currently by a, uh, kind of dark aeons and harder places to get to, so there's, uh, there should be some, uh, but I have to go back to Besaid, and Besaid is guarded by a dark aeon, so I've only killed one dark aeon, and I kind of cheesed it with Yojimbo, but, uh, hopefully, um, uh, Hopefully, in a while, I will uh, use Yojimbo enough to uh, and pay him enough that he just Zamatos every time. And if he does, then I might go back to that Aeon, and I'll just Zamato and kill it. So I can get the last Jack Spheres, and then the rest of the Dark Aeons I'll work on eventually trying to beat. So, uh, that's kind of where I'm at with the game, and there's a ton more to do. Um... I'm really surprised how fast I'm going through this. I kind of figured I'd be up in the 150-hour mark where um, by the time I got to some of this stuff, but I'm super happy. And, uh, I mean, some of the guys I've been watching on YouTube and videos and forums, I mean, these guys are literally doing what I've done, and they've gotten all armors that have four empty slots, and they've built up all their slots to have the best stuff. And, I mean, that just... It's pretty insane, so I'm, I'm, it seems like it's a very small group of people that have done this extensive amount of time and effort into this game, so, uh, I, I'm sorry if it's getting a little boring with the same games, playing them over and over, but, uh, like I said, just a little low on money, so as much as I've got some free games, I'm still really having fun, uh, doing these, and one of the ways I have fun is to keep creating goals for myself for the week, for the month, and just say, work on this, uh, and, uh, that's, I mean, making the game pretty awesome, so, uh, until this game really starts to get boring, uh, I'm sorry, I mean, I, I'm really happy, I've also gotten really close to beating, uh, Sin completely, well, 
I guess you, Yevon, uh, but uh, to capture some more of the species, you actually have to go on to Sin and go through part of that. So I've gotten almost to the last point where there's uh, the no turnaround, but I've gotten there. So I'm, yeah, it, it's a fun, fun game. I'm, I really, it, it's got replay value. I mean, I don't know if it's going to have replay value if I 100% the game, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, also, uh, we'll switch over to gaming news and stuff, but uh, kind of a little bit of a light week for some. Uh, with Gamecom, uh, there was just a lot of updates, trailers, stuff like that. Uh, more of like, hey, you already knew this game was coming out, but here's what else it's got. So uh, not a lot of news, really, uh, especially on Nintendo part. Uh, after the passing of Iwata, there just has not been a ton of of uh, news articles, anything. Uh, I mean, the Direct had a lot of, a lot of ass. Uh, companies just kind of trying to figure out what to do now uh, with with everything. So uh, we'll see what what becomes of the next couple of weeks and see where the company is headed. Uh, on that note, though, for gaming news, I did find one thing. Um, uh, Moco Moco Friends uh, got a release date for November 17th in North America. People are contrib- saying that uh, Moco Moco is going to be like uh, the next Pokemon type game. I think Yokai Watch is more along those lines, but uh, it, it's kind of a hugging game. It's I, I don't know enough, but uh, it could be interesting to see uh, with Yokai Watch and Moco Moco. Uh, which game takes off and which one the kids glom to and which one really does become the next Pokemon game. So uh, there are no games currently coming out for both systems that I know of, but uh, on uh, the Sony side of news, there's a lot more. uh, uh, For not really uh, having as big of a presence at Gamescom, there's still a lot of news uh, for the week. So uh, uh, first off, PlayStation Plus prices are rising in the U.K., uh, that starts September 1st. It's not going up a significant amount, and uh, it mostly only affects all the subscription methods except the final one, the most expensive one, which is full 12 months. Uh, in, a, in the North America, it's like 50 bucks for a 12-month subscription. So that's not changing, but all the other, like buying one month, month by month, or like three months, that's all going up a little bit. Now, I don't know if this is going to affect North America, and no one said anything, but it could just be in the UK uh, because of uh, the market value of a pound, pound dollars and all that, if uh, the pound just isn't as uh, worth as much in the long run, then prices have to be increased. However, there is the bad side that PlayStation Plus could be increasing uh, the rest of Europe, uh, Japan, America, but they could be also just testing the United Kingdom and seeing what happens and if people will actually pay the higher price point or if maybe more people will go to buying full 12 months, kind of like that. I mean, I know some people could just be like, look at the games and be like, hey, these are great games. I'll, uh, I'll just buy this month, but you can't kind of keep playing them if you're not still a member so you might as well just subscribe for all 12 months in my book and that's what i did so i've got still plenty of months in my subscription but uh we'll see if i want to renew when the time comes uh curses and chaos was announced for the ps vita uh not much on that but an announcement nonetheless uh Neon Chrome is a shooter. It's coming out after, uh, for the Vita, it's coming out after the PlayStation 4 version. And the PS4 version uh, should be coming out uh, later this year or early next year. So after that, then we'll have the Vita. It's also coming out on smart devices. I haven't been talking much about those, but again, they're just, there's too much junk to sift through to find the good gems out of for smart devices these days. Uh, Grand Kingdom got a Japanese release date of October 22nd. Uh, The Legend of Heroes uh, Trials in the Sky Second Chapter Evolution uh, is uh, going to release this December. Omega Labyrinth uh, released in Japan for November 19th. And also in Japan on October 15th, we have Seventh Dragon 3 Code VFD. Also, the biggest 
piece of news that I have is uh, talking about Drinkbox's game, Severed. Uh, being of my podcast way back in the first few uh, episodes, talked a ton about this game. It was supposedly coming out this summer. Uh, they've changed the release date to early next year. Hopefully that is January, February. Um, but they've also announced, and I don't know if this was already announced previous, or if, I mean, I kind of figured it would be a smartphone game, but it's going to come out for iOS as well. And with all the touch that they're talking about in this game, I was almost positive going to be on uh, some sort of uh, smart device system, but uh, I'm glad that now there's definitely news that it is coming to iOS. Uh, I'd rather, I'd like to have it on my Android too, but the game sounds like it's really coming along, and I'm sad that it's postponed so long, uh, especially with it word that it was going to come out a long time ago, but uh, especially with my $20 gift card just sitting here waiting uh, to be used, but at least I'm ready to go. Maybe I'll give away the $20 gift card as a prize, since uh, I can wait till Christmas to ask for another one, for, uh, or I'll just buy something else. We'll see. Uh, that's pretty much all the news this week. Uh, definitely a lighter week with, uh, with all, so much out for Gamescom, uh, Last week there was just tons more news, and uh, there's just more. That, I mean, Nintendo talked more about like Triforce Heroes and uh, um, If, and or uh, I mean, just all those types of things. And they brought up just more things like uh, characters that were in fighting games got announced and stuff like that, but uh, not uh, too much other news really this year and however i am happy still that uh for being a dead system the vita still got games coming a lot more coming to japan so we'll see if those come to north america anytime soon but still happy with uh my purchase of the vita and even if i just got the vita for final fantasy 10 i'm sure this i'm like i said before if you want a system just for final fantasy 10 it is still worth it whichever system you get uh uh, maybe not PS4, um, too expensive, but, I mean, Vita, PS2, PS3, pick up a copy of Final Fantasy X, if you like it, you're going to play it enough that it's going to make buying the system worth it, no matter what. That leads us on to the new games coming out this week, and, uh, coming out in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we will start with Nintendo. Um, I'm recording this on the 11th, so a bunch of games are going to be coming out uh, today in this. Um, but hopefully I upload this later today or uh, sometime tonight. So some of this is a little late, but uh, we have Brave Tank Hero, uh, Paddington uh, Adventures in London, and Garfield Kart all came out today. Um, coming out on the 13th, we have 3D Gunstar Heroes, uh, LBX, or Lil Battler's Experience, comes out on the 21st. Uh, Seren Gakura 2 Deep Crimson, uh, comes out, uh, August 27th in Europe and the week after in North America. And Dragon Quest, uh, I believe 8... Uh, comes out in Japan on August 27th um, for 3DS. So that's pretty cool. Uh, definitely been hearing a lot about Dragon Quest uh, 13 on 8, uh, just different things. So not a franchise I've ever really gotten behind. I know there's some correlation between Hyrule Wars and just kind of beat em ups, and Dragon Quest is similar to that, but. Uh, I know there's still a lot of people talking about it, so I had to make mention. Uh, for Sony's Vita, um, games that came out uh, today, uh, Torque L, uh, X-Blaze Lost Memories, and Actual Sunlight. And then next game's coming out kind of for the rest of the... Uh, the rest of the month, uh, The Bridge uh, is a puzzler game. It comes out on the 18th, along with Resident Evil Revelations 2, uh, Curses and Chaos, and uh, Volume, uh, Dungeon Travelers 2. Uh, these are all scheduled for the 18th. Uh, but, uh, 
Oh, I guess I did have some more, I guess, curses and chaos. I did have information. Sorry about that. It is on the 18th. I apologize. There was an announcement, but uh, I missed two articles of overlap. So, um, volume on the 18th. Uh, in on August 24th, we have Disc Storm in Europe and North America. Uh, Back to Bed comes out on the 25th, along with Amnesia Memories and Nova 11. Uh, one and One Piece Pirates 3. Um, the whole uh, mess of games. Uh, I guess we also got Lost Dimensions coming out on the 28th in Europe. But of all the games uh, coming out, the one that I'm probably most interested in is Back to Bed. Uh, a long, a long time ago, uh, my, many episodes ago, I was uh, I put a bunch of videos into my podcast and uh, kind of as I was talking about stuff, I just threw video up to show people uh, kind of what the game looked like. And of all the games I had news about, Back to Bed was actually the one that uh, most interested me. Uh, it had some just some cool visuals. Uh, kind of, I thought the gameplay might be kind of fun. So we'll see. I'm not super interested in buying some of the indie games, other than like Severed, just because indie games are usually so much more expensive. Uh, because smaller studio, they have to make their money back. They don't think as many people are going to buy it, so they up the price a little bit. But uh, uh, still still interested in it i uh probably once it comes out on the 25th i might uh i might kind of uh take a look at youtube see some gameplay and make a final decision i mean i do have 20 dollars uh sitting around and it's not going to be for severed this year so uh maybe i'll spend it on back to bed and see what it kind of a game i like i do need to maybe do some sprinkling of my vita uh I only have a print basic memory card, and I'm doing a lot with save files and a lot of games I'm adding uh, as uh, each month with PlayStation Plus. So I probably need to go through and look at some games I've beaten and maybe delete those out. So uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how much more room I have and how many more games I can get and play. But I'm definitely enjoying uh, my systems. I'm I've been looking, and I think I have been spending more time on my Vita, but that's just because the only game I'm playing on the 3DS is Pokemon Shuffle, uh, and Pokemon Shuffle, you can only play so many times before your hearts run out, so once my hearts are out, I'm not uh, really having any more time, so I just put my 3DS back in slate mode, so the Vita, I don't have that limit, uh, so I can play it as much as I want, so that's the only reason why I'm putting more time on my Vita. Uh, I apologize uh, for the sound quality, I'll try and, uh, clean it up a little bit, but I am, uh, battling stuffy nose today, uh, slight cold, so, uh, wasn't gonna wait any longer, this was about the best day I could to record my episode, uh, so hopefully I can have it all finished and ready to go for tonight or this afternoon, uh, maybe I'll just upload it this afternoon a little bit once I'm finished with it, and I'll just, uh, it kind of ruins my internet until the upload's done, so maybe I'll just play some video games for a while. Uh, but that is pretty much it for me for this week. Uh, like I said before, if there's any uh, systems or games or things you guys are interested in, uh, let me know. Tweet me. Uh, uh, Dream Call Har. Uh, I know it's not Cowboy Gamer, but I set up my... Uh, Twitter a long time ago. Uh, that's at D R I N C A L H A R. Uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, that's probably about the best way. Uh, otherwise, you can just leave a message on YouTube, uh, uh, like some people do, and uh, tell me there. Uh, hopefully, I don't get a billion uh, messages. I I still like to read through all of them and try and reply and respond to uh, a lot of you guys. So have a uh, a good week, and I will see you guys next week. <laughs>